Hello everybody, um, welcome back. Uh, this is Mandy with Hope Designs and if you follow our channel you know we're um, in major coaster making. So sorry about my messy spinner, you can see that I just went from one thing to the other. So in this video um, I'm going to try to create like a soft pink opal look. Um, and I have my pillow paint down, which is some oopsie paint I found at Home Depot. It's interior uh, satin paint, I think, or semi-gloss. Usually for your pillow, interior wall paint, satin or semi-gloss is a good bet. So what you see me putting down there is Shy Rose from Color Art. Uh, there is a 20% off promo code for anything on the Color Art website in the description box below. Should be Mandy1120. Um, just amazing pigments. And this color is so great for this idea. So I have since resined these. Um, took me a while to edit this video. Uh, this color right here is Amsterdam uh, Persian Rose, I think. So I'm just adding that in for a little bit of opacity. Notice I just kind of sprinkled it in. And um, actually, going back and looking at this, I thought I reversed the order on those, so it's kind of good for me to rewatch it. This color right here is called Firefly, also from Color Art. It is one of my favorite interference bling it colors. Um, and if you have been kind of keeping up with our journey, uh, my pouring medium, my normal pouring medium is is um, is a bare untinted house paint. That is, uh, I think that's Interference Gold from Color Art. But in this video, I'm using a, a Valspar paint, um, untinted house paint. And I like it. It's a little bit thinner than I would normally use. And um, that right there is Gold Sparkle Interference from Color Art. Really amazing. You can't see the detail right there. But um, anyway, the Valspar, I like it, however... It has um, a little bit more white, even though it's supposed to be untinted base C or deep base house paint. It has a little bit more white in it than I prefer, and it mutes my, my colors and my pigments. So I have a gallon of it. So instead of just not using it, I thought, well, why not um, use it for pastels and like iridescent, color shifting, opal looking coasters. I mean, pastels are very in right now. And um, like I told you guys in previous videos, we're trying to get ready for our upcoming market day. So I was like, why not mix up a whole bunch of them? Um, the paints are fairly thin, so they will dry a little bit faster. Um, just give me a chance to play around with the color combination. So um, that's what we're doing. So if you notice, I just Kind of went on top of those gold interference colors with some more shy rose and then i used an amsterdam the same amsterdam persian rose or persian pink or whatever to go underneath my cell activator and that's just going to give my cell activator a little bit more um, substance so that it doesn't just kind of glisten into the pigments because the pigments are so sparkly i also added in a little bit more firefly because i love it um, and I love the way these dried. So they dried with like this beautiful um, rosy pink with that color shift of the firefly with the gold sparkling through. It's so beautiful. We're using a blue violet cell activator. And you can see how thin the paint is. Look how that just glides over there. So um, the world's smallest leaf blower. Works really great on small tiles for blooms. Uh, you notice I don't have the little black attachment there. Um, and I do have a link for the world's smallest leaf blower in the description box below. Um, if you see anything in the description box and you purchase using our link, it doesn't cost you anything, but it does help our channel. Um, so I try to list as much as I can for people who are trying to find things. So please check there. So now all I'm doing is just picking up some of that paint um, and touching up the corners. I, um, I really think that these turned out beautiful. 
I think it would also be kind of neat to try a white cell activator. It would, they would be very, very light, um, but I think that would look cool. So we'll see. I really thought this color combo was nice. And that gold sparkle, you can't see the details, so you'll probably have to check our social media to see when I resin them what they look like. But that gold sparkle from Color Art just adds just like this perfect amount of sparkly pop. It's so beautiful. That's the only sparkle color I have, so I'm going to have to order the rest of them. They're amazing. I'm going to use them in lots of things. Um, they're so beautiful. I have all of the regular interference colors, just not all the sparkle colors. All right, so now we're going to spin it out. And while we're spinning, uh, I certainly appreciate everyone's continued support. I hope that we don't bore you with all of our uh, small tile videos. I'm not going to put you through all four of these. Um, our social media links are listed below, of course. And um, that's where I usually post everything once it's resined, once I finally take product pictures. And we do have an Etsy shop. Um, I'm working on becoming a little bit more consistent with updating it. But uh, these will be for sale, so if anyone is interested, feel free to reach out. Um, and we're going to work on being better about updating Etsy in the future. They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I wonder if I can take a quick photo for the end of this video, because I have resined most of them since then. Um, but anyway, I appreciate you joining in on our journey. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. And if you're not, we would love for you to join us. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Okay, here is the resin tile. You can see the shimmer. Look at that. All right, thanks for watching, everyone.